Hi and welcome to this new episode of FinTalk. My name is Lobna and today we'll be meeting with Mr. Hamid Rashid who is the founder of Finterra. Hi Hamid, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. On behalf of our members, I have certain questions, so shall we get started? Of course. You recently won the Super 30 Companies Recognition published by Silicon Review. Yes. Our heartiest congratulations. Thank you. Could you tell us more about what this is, uh, what this award is about and why it is important? Yes. We were also surprised, you know, we, we were not aware that we were being reviewed uh, by Silicon Review uh, from the United States and, uh, you know, they reached out to us saying that uh, they want to know more about Fintera, they want to know more about the Wakaf chain, uh, the blockchain solution that we are working on and they sent a, a list of questions uh, as a questionnaire, we filled that and, and sent back to them uh, and then they had a judging panel. Uh, so what they were looking at uh, companies in 2019 uh, that are working on innovative solutions, that are working on solutions that has inclusion, community inclusion in there, uh, and that are working on, um, uh, you know, a solution that actually will make a social impact. Um, so uh, kind of Fintera falls in that category quite easily, that we, we are working on a Islamic social finance solution. Uh, it is an inclusive solution because it's including a lot of the Islamic uh, world community on this platform. Um, and of course the solution is totally innovative which is Wakaf on the blockchain and, and we pioneer in it. Um, so we won this award uh, and, and the award was basically a certificate uh, and a recognition in the magazine uh, and, and a two-page article. Wow. Uh, yeah, so, so we're quite honored that, uh, uh, that they are uh, different entities in the in the world that are actually tracking us and and uh, you know are, are recognizing us in right. this manner. Yeah. So it is a pleasant surprise to be qualified for all these parameters that are set to. Yes. So um, you know, like in in business, it is said uh, the most successful business is when you help people. Right. Uh, so Wakaf Chain is one solution that actually helps community. Uh, you know, through endowments and through charity and through investments and peer-to-peer -peer financing. Uh, so yes, it, it, it is a solution that actually impacts and includes the community in it. Thank you, Hamid, for answering this question. Yeah. Could you share a bit about Fintera's plans of moving forward in the fourth quarter and how it will generate more demand for Fin? Um, I think this question has come up quite a bit uh, in our Telegram group and uh, also through other uh, communication channels. Um, in fourth quarter, which is October, November, and December of 2019, uh, for the first time, uh, Fintera uh, as a group is posting revenues from June uh, this year. Now, the platform went live in February. It took some time, two, three months to upsell it. We had certain implementation or pre-implementation pilot projects, and we started billing clients uh, in Malaysia uh, and in uh, Oman uh, from June. So there is certain revenues that started, uh, you know, coming in in June, July, August, and this is September. So billings for September have gone out. Now, what are we actually billing the clients for? Number one, we are billing them on services because we are doing certain customization services uh, to implement those uh, solutions for them. Uh, we are also billing them on uh, uh, subscription fees. So based on the size uh, of the users, we are billing them for subscription for using our platform. Uh, third is we are also billing them on certain success fees for the funds that they are raising through the Wakaf chain. We are, we are taking certain percentage success fees. So this itself is now substantial based on the three, four clients that we already have uh, in, in the last three, four months. Um, and, and you know the billing will just keep growing as the number of users and the clients keep coming uh, on the platform. Now, the plan is, right, that Part of this revenue uh, goes back into market making the, the, the fin value itself. Um, if you see in the last one month, the BTC and Ether price has been actually quite healthy, except right. for yesterday and today that the, you know Bitcoin has suddenly uh, gone down uh, 15%. Uh, okay? But the idea is that part of this revenues is going to be used to finance uh, the market making on uh, Fin 
and uh, the fin holders you know uh, could actually now start going into the two primary exchanges that we are working with uh, to start uh, their trade now we also were very clear that since the day of listing the fin company does not issue any more fins okay. so whatever was in the in the pre-sale uh, part before the listing which the community holds they will be able to trade in those two exchanges now the fortunate or unfortunate thing is that the two exchanges one listed out of hong kong another listed in uh, mainland china the volumes are very different and the value of the token the fin token has been based on the volume so uh, on one of the exchange i think uh, it is going down to even uh, one cent okay. uh, and the other exchange is fluctuating anywhere between uh, 10 cent to 50 cent